can sit down. It's my great pleasure to welcome you to the University of Manchester and the splendid surroundings of the Whitworth Hall for this graduation ceremony. In particular, I'd like to welcome our graduands whose magnificent achievements and hard work we're here to celebrate today. We're also delighted to see so many friends and family here. We thank you for the support and encouragement you have given to our graduands during their studies, which has been so important for their success. Just like their tutors and members of staff in their schools and faculties, you can be extremely proud of what they've achieved. When those of you graduating today decided to study at the University of Manchester, you chose to make a major commitment to your future, a commitment and decision that will have positive results almost as soon as you came here. During the course of your studies, you will have gained skills and knowledge to help you find success in future years. Although I guess you may be glad to see the back of your assignments for now, the planning, research and writing skills you deployed and nurtured will be of great value in the, work, uh, in the world in general and in the world of work, and perhaps even during further study. The way you have balanced commitment to academic life with other interests and the many competing distractions this great city of Manchester offers will help you uh, find a work-life balance as your career and your future unfolds. And of course, we must not forget the strong, supportive friendships and relationships you've forged here, which I hope will sustain for many years to come. Put simply, your achievement in completing your degree cannot be overestimated for its intrinsic value and the strong platform it gives you to build your life, your career and achieve your goals. Manchester is already one of the finest universities in Europe and we are determined to become one of the best in the world. With 170 nationalities on campus, the University of Manchester is a truly global institution and one which will remain so, valuing its European and international staff, students and alumni. At the very core of the new vision is a major investment in buildings, infrastructure and facilities and a commitment to the highest standards in research and scholarship. But it isn't the bricks, mortar, wires, technology, equipment and pieces of paper that make this university so great and successful. It's our staff, our students, our people. During your studies, you have all in your own way enriched, shaped and moulded the University of Manchester to the tremendous benefit of those who will follow in your footsteps. By reflecting on your experiences and telling us how we could make them better, you have given us the blueprint to achieve our bold ambitions to be among the best in the world. The university is changing and will continue to change for the better because of you. So today is as much about honouring you for your valued contribution as for the success in your academic studies. Armed with your academic success, your skills and your breadth of experiences, there's every reason to be positive about the future. Your job prospects, having studied here, are enviable because employers all around the world recognise the value of the piece of paper that I promise you, you will soon be holding in your hand. Obtaining your degree is a hugely important milestone and you should celebrate this success. But this is the beginning of your journey and your association with Manchester and not the end. The opportunities open to you from receiving your degree continue way beyond today's pomp and ceremony. Our careers service continues to offer you help and support for three years and you can continue to make good use of our world-class libraries. The Alumni Association will help you remain in contact with the university linking you with a community of more than 380,000 Manchester graduates living and working across the globe. 
As alumni, you can help future students in so many ways, as ambassadors of the university, in student placements and employment, and directly in the development of the university, which is so vital to its future. So we sincerely hope today will not be your last contact with the university. And remember, our doors will always be open to you. Thank you. Welcome, graduates, friends, supporters, parents, and loved ones. We are here today to honour our students. They take degrees in a variety of disciplines concerning fashion business and textiles. They graduate in these spectacular surroundings from a fine university and from one of the largest materials schools in the world. Materials is a very broad and multidisciplinary subject area. And at Manchester, the breadth of our activity is greater than at most institutions, in part because of our strong interests in the science and technology of textiles, its business structures and practices. Indeed, in 1824, at the meeting when the first foundations of what was to become the University of Manchester were laid, the interested parties included businessmen from textiles manufacture, engineering and commerce, and two scientists, William Henry and John Dalton, whose work is still relevant to the material scientists of today. Thus we may say that those graduating today from the School of Materials are carrying on the great tradition of the application of science, engineering, textiles and commerce that the founders of this great university wish to promote. Among our graduating cohort today are many students who joined us from overseas universities. We give a special welcome to them and to all who have traveled from far afield to join our celebrations today. We study materials of all kinds here in Manchester, metals, ceramics, polymers, composites, functional materials, biomaterials, nanomaterials, and of course, textiles. Our technical textile research group interface with all of these areas of materials research. We lead in the weaving, braiding, and knitting of carbon fibers for use in composites. We electrospin scaffolds for tissue engineering, and we are working on smart textiles for healthcare applications. We live in a materials world. Materials are the things that we can touch, and surprisingly, for a very practical discipline, its name has philosophical origins. The word material comes from the old French referring to the material world and differentiating it from the spiritual world of philosophy and theology. International collaborations are very important to our school. We have six major partner universities in China, and on visits we meet new students and discuss our joint plans and I am pleased that much of our work is reciprocal with our staff spending time teaching in China. Two years ago, I visited universities in India, and since that visit, 16 of our undergraduate students have traveled there to spend their summer working on community projects in rural villages. We hope that many more will do so in the future. This activity is coordinated by our colleagues at Amrita University, which shares our university's view that social responsibility should be a consideration in all that we do. The school is successful in research. We are working with colleagues from across the university to develop plans for the Henry Royce Institute for Advanced Materials. This national facility will be housed in a new building here at Manchester opening late next year and represents an investment of over 235 million pounds. We are investing also over 350 million pounds into the Manchester Engineering Campus Development, which will provide a state-of-the-art building and infrastructure where the School of Materials will be based from 2021. Our staff are often an early call for industry or the media in areas as diverse as antibacterial textiles, online retail, and sustainable fashion. They are regularly interviewed and quoted by the national media and trade press. Our discipline of materials has been recognized as being fundamental and one for which there is a continuing and significant need with the award to the university of the first Regis Chair in Materials. The school's professor, Phil Withers, was announced as the first incumbent of this prestigious chair. And this year, Phil was awarded the Institute of Materials, Minerals and Mining's Platinum Medal in recognition of his outstanding contributions to materials science. We've been recognized by many external organizations. 
The International Foundation of Fashion Technology Institutes has recognized our staff and students with their Junior Faculty Initiative Award, won this year by Francesca Bonetti and last year by Rachel Parker Strack. Claudia Henninger won last year's Outstanding Paper Award from the Journal of Fashion Marketing and Management for her contribution in the field of sustainable fashion. I should mention also that we recently re-accredited our courses and have carried out a major review of their structure. All of our technical textiles courses are now recognized for exemptions for the professional status of chartered engineer, and importantly for chartered scientists also, making them the first textiles programs in the UK to have this double accreditation. Our programs in fashion business have for a long time been accredited by the Textile Institute, and they recently achieved accredited status from the Chartered Institute of Marketing. This is an important recognition of the broad applicability of these taught programs. We're here to celebrate our students today, our bedrock. We exist to educate, to research, and to provide support to our economy and work for the good of mankind. Education underpins all these activities, and we especially recognize this aspect today. I and the academic staff you see behind me have all been involved in delivering this education, and I know that they will agree with me that it has been a pleasure to teach you. As graduates from the School of Materials, you are now poised to go out into the world to make your mark. We know that employers favor graduates with degrees from Manchester, and the subjects we teach in the School of Materials are in high demand in industry the world over. Knowing what talented people you are, I am confident that you will be successful in whatever ventures come next. So whatever these are, I wish you all every success and happiness in the future, and I thank you for your attention. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, my colleague, Joanna Louise Cartwright. <laughs> Xian Gran Wu. <laughs> and for the degree of Master of Philosophy, Christian Raphael Moya Garcia. And for the degree of Master of Science in International Fashion Marketing, Chi An. <laughs> Hayden Kamina. <laughs> Chun Chen. <laughs> Jia Wei Chen. Xiao Yang Chen. <laughs> Ying Chen. <laughs> Yu Ying Chen. <laughs> Yifan Chen. Ye Yun Duan. <laughs> Rianti Duyastuti. <laughs> Hui Yu Geng. <laughs> Chi Wan Guan. Ming Yi Gui. <laughs> Joanna Hamburi. <laughs> Junan He. <laughs> Q 
Chen Hong. <laughs> Kai Ting Li. <laughs> Yu Ming Li. Wan Shan Li. Huan Huan Lin. Yu Chi Lu. Ying Kui Lo. Yi Wei Liu. <laughs> Kaya Mo. We have another ceremony at 4.30, guys. <laughs> ben Peter Russell. <clears throat> Xiaoping Chan. <clears throat> Melissa Coral Walsh. <clears throat> See you, Wu. Hui Min Yi. <laughs> Cheng Zhang. <laughs> Ching Zheng. <laughs> Yaxin Zhong. Rulin Zhu. <laughs> and in international fashion retailing, Mei Bai. <laughs> Ying Wan Chao. Jia Yi Chen. <laughs> Ji Chen. <laughs> Guangzi Dai. <laughs> Yi Feng. Min Yi Fu. <laughs> See you, Gao. <laughs> Zhu Hao. <laughs> Jia Yi He. Seijing Zhang. <laughs> Yi Jin. <laughs> Yu Leng. <laughs> Ji Li. Keishuan Li. <laughs> Yu Ji Li. <laughs> C. 
Si Chen Lu. Song Xian Lu. Yu Lu. Tong Lu. Ching Pan. An Chi Chin. <laughs> Yang Tai. <laughs> Wen Wen Tan. <laughs> Jen Tsai. Yuhan Wang. <laughs> Xu Ming Wang. <laughs> Zi Wei Wang. <laughs> Yifan Wei. Hong Kong Wu <laughs> K Wei Wu <laughs> Mei Fang Wu <laughs> Ming Zi Wu Zhao Qing Wu. <coughs> Zhu Yun Zhu. <coughs> Yi Ru Zhu. <coughs> Zi Han Zhu. Si Jia Yan. Chan Chan Yi. Wen Yi, Wen Yin Yi, excuse me. Li Tong Yu. Yi Bin Yu. <laughs> Kong Yu. <laughs> Jing Yang Zan. <laughs> Jia Wei Zhang. Ning Zhang. <laughs> Rong Ping Zhang. <laughs> Xiao Tong Zhao. <laughs> Yu Meng Zhao. Say Zeng. <laughs> and in international fashion retailing business process improvement, Chan Chang Kui. <laughs> Jing Shi Ding. <laughs> Jia Ying Duo.
Yu Tong Feng. Yu Chen Hu. Yanan Li. Xin Chu. Jia Yu Wang. Ching Ching Wang. Xiao Dang Wang. Xiao Yu Wang. Ling Yi Xiao. Yi Xiao Yang. Hao Mei Yang. Yi Shu Zhao. Tianjin Zi. And in international fashion retailing, multi channel marketing, Bi Ying Kao. Sai Lu Chai. Ming Yao Chen. Miao Ji Chen. Bi Jun Gui. Yunju Su. Chi Hui Hu. Ran Huang. Jia Lin Jiang. Ang Li. Da Li. Fu Chen Li. Yu Li. Gay Lu. Sha Sha Lu. Si Chi Lu. Si Ru Lu. Lu Lu Jia Chen Ma Jia Chi Ni Yi Chen Sha Ji Shen. Yan Min Shen. Z 
Xin Tang. Han Ling Wang. Jia <laughs> Zi Wang. <laughs> Li Wang. <laughs> Chi Wang. Yu Yan Wang. <laughs> CC Wu. <laughs> Jing Jing Su. <laughs> Shu Yu Yang. Yi Chen Yang. <laughs> Su Chao Yang. <laughs> Jing Lin Yi. <laughs> Jing Jing Yuan. Ru Yu Zhang. <laughs> Zhu Yi Zhao. <laughs> Huan Chi Zong. <laughs> Jun Yi Zhu. Chao Yi Zhu. <laughs> Yan Ning Zhu. <laughs> and in textile technology, technical textiles, Maha Fahad M. Aldo Wasari. Jin Tao Chen. <laughs> Lu Yi Dai. <laughs> Meng Di Ding. <laughs> Angela Josephine Fusco. Weinan Gao. <laughs> Meng Shang Gu. <laughs> Novroz Gulza. <laughs> Sheikh Walil Islam. Yifan Li. <laughs> Jessica Magdalena Li. <laughs> Yash Chandrasekhar Redka. <laughs> Sangeet Sivan, Sivan Sivakuma. Puyui Tai. <laughs> Chu Wang. <laughs> Jen Yin Wang. <laughs> Wei Han Wang. Zi Yu Wei.
Leping Wu. Cheng Yi Zhu. Xiao Xiao Zhang. Yu Zhang. Yu Zhang. Min Zhu. And for the postgraduate diploma in international fashion and retailing, Zhu Fei Fan. And for the postgraduate certificate in international fashion retailing, multi channel management, Jia Xin Zhang. On behalf of the university, I once again congratulate all of you who are graduating here today on your excellent achievements. And I wish you every success and happiness in your future lives and careers. You now may put on your hats as you are now officially graduates. So thank you, and I declare the ceremony closed.